And in today's episode, I want to talk about the TV series Outlander. <laughs> Scotland does not get a very good airing on television at all. So on the odd occasion when we do have a Scottish film or TV series, we tend to pay quite a lot of attention to it. But bizarrely, this series, Outlander, it took quite a long time before we in Scotland even got to see it. Now, of course, this is a series about fiction, right? It's not real, but there are some elements to it which are definitely based on facts. What Outlander makes you realise is about Scotland's history of the clans. Now, I don't know if many people know this, but Scottish history in terms of clans and what happened to those clans, why they existed, why they broke up, that was not taught in Scottish schools until very recently. And that is obviously a very great shame because we have got some fascinating history in Scotland, really interesting stories about what Scotland used to be and why that kind of shaped modern day Scotland and indeed the United Kingdom. Now the original idea for the series came from actually a series of novels written by Diana Gabaldon. Gabaldon? Gabaldon? I don't know how exactly how you pronounce it. But she is from Arizona in America. And I find that fascinating because that just deepens our ties with Scotland and America. I've been talking about this recently quite a lot ever since my trip to America, exploring American values. Diana wrote this series and it's all about this idea of the Scottish clans and a woman who goes back into the past. And I found that fascinating. Now, to be honest with you guys, I do not read many books. I am not a big book reader. Least of all fiction novels, I have not read the books. I also do not watch much TV anymore. I simply do not have the time to go through watching series and things like that. I rarely watch them. But this one caught my attention because of the Scottish connection and because everybody was saying it's actually pretty good. The first thing I want to say about Outlander as a Scottish person, it is amazing to see that I've actually filmed a lot of it in Scotland. Now I know a lot of it is based in film studios around the world and I believe they're actually shooting at this very moment in time in South Africa. But a lot of the scenes were actually done in Scotland. As it should be, it's a series all about Scotland. And I should mention, by the way, since I've started watching it, I've only just made it through, halfway through the first season. So no spoilers, please. The scenery it has been magical. Now, obviously, Scotland is a beautiful country anyway, but they have really shown that off with the filming, and that is good. They've got people who have really embedded themselves into the scenery and done a great job of showing Scotland to its full potential. Leach Castle, one of the main settings, certainly in the beginning of the series, is actually Dune Castle in Stirlingshire. It is a beautiful castle. I've passed it a few times, I've never been in, but I do want to know that I've seen it in Outlander. The series is based around a woman called Claire Randall. She is a nurse in the Second World War. She goes on a trip with her husband to the Highlands of Scotland, where she goes and touches some mysterious, magical standing stones and is teletransported back in time, 200 years earlier, to the time of the Scottish clans in the Highlands of Scotland, and she lands with the Mackenzie clan in their lands in Leach Castle. Now, from what I've seen, I have really liked the plotline, I really like the story developing, I think it's great. And most importantly, they have used a very, very Scottish cast. This is really important for us Scottish people to get into the series, paying particular close attention to accents, we would not be watching it. Nonetheless, you guys have been absolutely loving this series and it has been great for Scottish tourism. A lot of people have traveled over to Scotland simply to see the film sets and I think that's amazing. I might make this into a bit of a series. Maybe I, when I go back to Scotland, actually travel Scotland, like I said I was gonna do a couple months ago, and go and see all of the filming locations for Outlander. I love doing road trips around Scotland. We should definitely do that. Now here's one of the really fascinating battles that go on in Outlander between the Scottish clans, the Mackenzie clan in their land, and the English Redcoat army who are stationed there. I don't know how that is going to progress, but history tells us it becomes very bloody and unfortunately only one side wins. I think it's been very important though that the story between the two has been told quite accurately that they very much disliked each other. There was very much a sense of rape, pillage, and plundering by the occupying Redcoat army. And I think it's good that the series has actually showed that. Which, I should add, eventually leads to the clearing of the Highlands, the Highland clearances. But I do think it's great that the Outlander series has respected the fact that it was an occupying British force in the Scottish Highlands, and they did some very bad things indeed. And as I say, it's also good that they used a Scottish cast with good Scottish accents. Now, there is a couple of cases in actors who are definitely not Scottish. For example, the actress Lottie Verbeek. I don't know if that's how you pronounce it. Bless her, Lottie tries her best. Her accent is actually not bad for somebody who's not Scottish. 
but you can clearly tell she isn't. I'm not one of the people from Scotland who will just go on and harp on about that as something that makes the series terrible. I actually think she does a really good job. There will be people out there, Scottish people, complaining about that. Let's just put that out there. I am not going to be one of those people because I think she does a good job. But what I think is really cool about this series overall is it gives us a bit of historical context into what the clans were, who they were, the different names, the tartans that they used. That's something us Scottish people don't actually know much about. Guys, I can't even stress this enough. In America, you guys are fascinated by clans, by tartans. I think that is amazing and incredible that you know so much and are so interested in this. But unfortunately, we in Scotland, we don't know much. Like, this is a learning experience for a lot of us, myself included. But now that I'm watching the series, it makes me actually want to go out there and learn more about the Scottish clans, the Scottish tartans, because I think it's fascinating. I wanted to gauge the wider perception of Scottish people what we actually think of Outlander because that is fascinating. So we know that a lot of Americans and people from the rest of the world absolutely love Outlander and that is amazing. It brings a lot of tourism to Scotland, a lot of interest, a lot of focus, all that kind of stuff. Great. We love that. But what about Scottish people? There is a Cora.com thread all about Outlander and what Scottish people think and people do mention about the good sides of it, the bad sides of it and the sides of the true gruesome nature of the British army are not being fully revealed by the series. But that could progress. One commentator is a tour guide and a storyteller. She says, I am all in favor of Outlander. Our work is a tour guide in a Scottish castle. Even though it is not a film location, the TV series and books have significantly boosted our overseas visitor numbers. I'd estimate that at least 80% of visitors from the USA and Europe are enthusiastic Outlander fans. That's incredible to hear. Like somebody who actually works in a Scottish castle seeing boosted numbers of tourists to Scotland. That is amazing. That's what we want to see. More of that, please. Another commentator on the same thread. I am a Scot and I've read most of the books and watched the series and have enjoyed it. There are some irritating accents in the TV series that don't even sound Scottish. Some of the locations chosen seem a bit odd. Falkirk standing in for Inverness, for example. The two are nothing alike. I must admit, I agree with that comment. The part where they chose a little town near Falkirk standing in for Inverness was a bit weird. But nonetheless, sometimes that just happens. You can't always get a city that you want for a film location to actually appear, to actually be available. Maybe it looked too modern nowadays. Lots of different reasons as to why they didn't actually use Inverness when in the series they were supposed to be there. Another interesting commentator here on the forum, he says, I had better declare an interest. I am a member of a Jacobite historic interest group. I enjoyed the first series of Outlander very much. I took a keen interest in the costuming and the sets and could find little fault apart from just about everyone in kilt is wearing rather strange knee high boots. So largely we get this theme of Scottish people reacting in a positive manner. We like Outlander. I like it. As a Scots person, I really, really like it. I think it's a brilliant, brilliant series. And like the tiny little details that could be historically inaccurate with what they were in the 18th century. Like for me, that doesn't even matter because I don't know much about Scotland in the 18th century other than the fact that we had clans, they wore tartan, they were groups that were eventually kicked off the land and killed and slaughtered by the British army. I wanted to get a bit more reaction from Scottish people. So I turned to Twitter where I have got a lot of Scottish followers. Make sure you guys follow me on Twitter as well if you're not already. So basically I asked on Twitter, anybody who's Scottish, I want to get your reaction, your opinion about Outlander. And I got a number of responses immediately. So from Lady of the Jocks, really enjoying it, but just finishing the first series, Lady of the Jocks says, had to watch it after David Cameron ensured it wasn't to be shown before the referendum. Turns out I like it. I think they've done very well on many respects. Shows the awful oppression, the misogyny of the time, class structure, compliers and dyers. Tom, I have watched both series and I love it. Not all good comments, but mostly positive. Here's one from Fairgrieve. Not me, started it, but found it trite and patronizing. Probably too close. Glad it supports Scottish tourism though. Some people are concerned about all the sexual violence that goes on, the rapes and stuff. So that is one reason why a lot of people haven't watched it. That is quite a common thread. Not everybody likes to watch that type of thing. And it is violent, like Scottish history is violent. Like you could not make a series about Scotland, Scottish history without there being violence involved. Okay, Billy McDee says, it's a must see. You'll understand why Cameron intervened before the referendum to have it blocked till afterwards. Terry says, yes, it's brilliant and more historically accurate than the little we were taught in schools here. That is a point that I've mentioned. We're not taught about Scottish clans, all that kind of stuff very much in schools. At least I wasn't. So like a lot of mixed opinions there from Scottish people, but it's good because it is 
sparking a debate about Scottishness, Scottish history, all that kind of stuff, which is a good thing. Susan says, I think it's brilliant. Also good to see some history on the Jacobites. Love the scenery too. Culloden trip on the cards soon, I think. Very cool. Christy says, oh my God, I'm obsessed. Onto the books. Amy says, yes, I love it. I think it's shot brilliantly and shows a lot of Scottish history, which is great. A number of Scottish reactions from my followers and I think largely it's positive. As a Scottish people, we like it. And I tell you what, my parents have watched it and they also really, really enjoy it. So I think from us Scots, it's largely thumbs up to the makers of Outlander and obviously to the writer of the original books. Great job. It's amazing to see Scotland being told in more stories. We are a nation of storytellers and it's a story I feel that we should have told, but it came down to an American to tell it. So that's why I want to get more involved in Scottish culture history through the series on my vlog. Thank you very much guys for joining in. Make sure you guys follow me on Twitter and join in that conversation. Instagram if you've got it, Facebook, I've got a Facebook page, all the rest of it. I'd love to talk more about this with you guys, about Scottish history, the Scottish clans, Jacobites, Outlander. Let's talk about Outlander. Outlander is going to reappear on our screens very soon. Scotland. Aye. I'll catch you guys again later.